Hi everyone, this is Anchal here. In this video, you will learn encapsulation in Java. So here, what is the encapsulation? So I have a definition for you of encapsulation. That is the process of defining a class by hiding its data from direct access from the outside class members and providing its access only through publicly accessible methods that is setter and getter methods with proper validation is called encapsulation. Here, in Java, we declare variables as private to stop accessing them directly from outside class. So here I have a diagram for you guys. So in this diagram, as you can see, we have a class that is client class and uh, here we have another class that is subclass that is bank account class. Here uh, we have three variables that is account number, account holder name and balance and these variable we will declare as a private in in my practical implementation class you will see and here uh, I will uh, give these variables access to client class that is by giving setter and get, getter methods okay so by declaring as setter and getter methods right so here uh, uh, you will see some points of uh, encapsulation that is binding of Java and corresponding methods into a single method single unit is called encapsulation if any Java class follows data hiding and abstraction, such type of class is said to be encapsulated class. Now, what is the encapsulation if we uh, want to see in uh, like mathematical form? So, this is the uh, encapsulation equals to data hiding plus abstraction. So, here every data member should be declared as a private and for every member we have to maintain getter and setter methods. So here in below diagram you can see I have prepared this beautiful uh, diagram using code. So here you can see we have a class that is car and here we have two variables which are declared uh, by using private keyboard. Uh, so here we have a private string car number, private string car color and here we are uh, uh, here I am using these variable in other methods by using setter and get getter methods as you can see in the in the screen that here i am using setter method to uh, set our uh, variable values and here i am using getter method to get these uh, method uh, and uh, if you want to use in other classes then you can use by this uh, using uh, setter and getter methods right so in now i will show you practical implementation of encapsulation by using this example only so here we will uh, go uh, to uh, sts tool and here uh, first i will create package and then i will show you what to do next right so uh, i have just right click on uh, src folder here and then i will create a package so that i can create my classes because that, uh, that because here i am using uh, ID for uh, developing my uh, program so here I will create package name that is Archel dot in dot Archel dot in dot encapsulation right in capsulation so here this is my package name and now I will create class now right click on this package name and new and then go to class and in and here you have to give your class name so my class name is car so I am giving just car and this name should be in capital letter because uh, here we are using Java and Java class should be in capital letter that's why now click on finish and then then here here you need to create uh, some variable so I am creating my variable here so first variable name is private private string car number I am taking as a car name because I am taking it uh, as a, st a string that's why I can take also as string for car number but here uh, so it, it will become easy if I will take car name that's why and that uh, and then uh, my another uh, variable name is private string car color 
ओ ओ कार कलर राइट एंड हियर वेरिएबल नेम शुड बी वेरिएबल नेम शुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्मॉल लेटर ओके दैट्स वाई कार नेम एंड कार कलर नाउ आई विल क्रिएट सेटर मेथड सेटर एंड गेटर मेथड फॉर दीज वेरिएबल्स सो हियर आई विल राइट पब्लिक हियर आई एम राइटिंग मैनुअली बिकॉज दिस इज दिस वीडियो इज फॉर बिगिनर एंड इफ यू आर एन एडवांस पीपल हु आर लर्निंग जावा फ्रॉम मैनी ईयर्स और मैनी मंथ्स सो यू कैन यूज लॉन्ग बॉक फॉर जनरेटिंग सेटर एंड गेटर गेटर मेथड ओके सो हियर आई एम यूजिंग दिस मैनुअल हियर आई एम राइटिंग मैनुअली पब्लिक void set public void set car number sorry car name and then i have to pass this string i have to pass this variable car name right and now i have to enter it yes now i will call this 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 dot car name this dot car name equals to car name car car name equals to car name right yes and now i will create getter matter getter method for this so here getter method is public void oh, oh, public string because here we are returning we are getting uh, our method our variable name to other methods we are passing that that's why here we have to use public string then get car name and then curly braces here we are returning our car name as a string okay this as a string so here i will return our variable return car name right so this is the setter getter we have to generate we have to write setter getter method like this and then i will write setter method for another variable that is car color so here i will write this method i should take it big i should uh, do this so that it will look clear for you and now public public void set car color and then i will pass this argument from this method that is string car color right now here i have to use this keyword this dot car color equals to car color call car color now this its spelling should be this because here we are using coding in coding color name should be this oh you can take that name also it's not a problem c o l o u r color actual spelling is this only but when we use in html or something then this color meaning will not take okay and now here uh, we will write our getter method for car color right so here i will write public <coughs> public void public string not void public string get car color
scar color and then curly brushes and then I have to return this variable to car color then semicolon so here we have completed our this this class that is car class then I will call these methods in other class okay so here I will create my next class that will be a test class so now right click on package name then new and then go to the class and then here write your class name so my class name is car test and now here I will take this method also because I need this uh, <coughs> method to run our method our uh, classes in Java we need main method to run our classes and then I will click finish yes and I will delete this comment line because I don't need this and here first I will create first I will print a message and I, then I will call uh, that method that uh, setter get that variable in this method in this class okay now here I will create object of car class that is car c equals to new car of and then I will call that method yes now semicolon colon and here I will call that method in printing statement that is so I have system dot out dot print ln of semicolon then here I will call c dot c dot get car name car and a yes here we have this method car name mm -hmm. this I should put this uh, yes here so here we have called one method that is car name then we will call another method that is car color system dot out dot print ln of and then here we will call c dot c dot get car color ok and now we will see the output what output we are getting so here we haven't initialized this uh, variable we have only created our variable so i think we will get null value because we uh, our data type is string type that's why if our data type will, uh, was uh, integer type then we will uh, then we will get our output uh, that is zero something right in integer form so here we will see what we are output or uh, we are getting so first we will save this class and then i will right click on this class then then here I have to go to run as Java application then we will see yes so we are getting our output uh, that is null and null because we haven't initialized our variables we have not given any value to these uh, these variables that's why we are getting this output and uh, so this is the encapsulation in Java so when we uh, want to uh, provide uh, security to our classes then we use this uh, this type uh, this uh, encapsulation in java so this is all about encapsulation thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel and uh, please like this video and share with your friends also thanks for watching so this is all about encapsulation